Five second test is a simple exercise that can help you gauge user's first impression of your design. This video is a quick guide on how to use this type of testing. In a five second test, test participants are shown an image of a landing page or screen for five seconds and then ask follow-up questions about what they just saw. Five second testing aims to assess what users can recall so you can ensure that your design communicates the right message to the right audience. Let's do the 5 second test right now. Now I want to ask you some questions such as what was this page all about? If you tell me that this page was all about drones, your response will tell me that the design I used on this page was good enough to communicate the message. But if you give me the answers, I'm not sure, or maybe it's about smart gadgets, I will know that I will probably have to change my design. There are two reasons why you should use 5 second tests. First, when creating a new product, it can be hard to judge your own design. For example, the messaging you use on a website can be clear to you, but unclear to your audience. But 5 second tests can help you see if other people can understand the meaning of your design. Second, people form the initial impression of your design in a few seconds. Studies show that website visitors only spend a few seconds assessing web design before deciding whether they want to stay or leave. That's why conveying the right impression to your visitors during the first few seconds is essential. Five-second testing will help you understand how people feel about your design. So. What pages should I test? You should choose pages that have a di direct impact on conversion rate. Those are pages where people can buy your product, sign up for a newsletter or fill out a contact form. For example, it can be a product page, a landing page or a promo page. How many responses to collect? The minimum number of responses is 5. Ideally, you should collect at least 25 responses to get meaningful results. But of course, the more responses you collect, the better you will understand your different people. How many questions to ask? You don't want to overwhelm people with too many questions, so try to ask three questions. What kind of questions to ask? The exact questions should always be selected depending on the need of your project. Uh, you can ask people what they can recall. For example, if they can recall a specific object such as a call to action button or learn general impressions such as what people like or dislike about your design. Here are a few popular questions that apply to almost all projects. What do you think this page is all about? What product do you think this business is offering? What do you remember most about the page? Can you recall the company or product name? What is the main thing you can recall? How to interpret the results of testing? One of the best things about 5 second tests is that analyzing the results is a straightforward task. Generally, you can categorize the results into two groups. The first group got the message you tried to communicate and the second didn't understand the message. If the first group has, say, 90% of participants, then your design is good. If the number is much lower, then you need to introduce changes in your design. Now let's discuss a few things to remember about 5 second tests. Don't prime test participants. You should always have questions you will ask test participants up front, but don't share the questions with them before the testing. Don't provide any specific instructions before or during the testing because instructions can bias the testing results. Don't try to guide test participants on what exactly they should remember during the testing. Don't overwhelm people with too much information. For example, when taking a screenshot of a page you want to test, don't take the entire page. Showing only the hero sections will be enough. Use static images. It's better to avoid showing moving objects because they naturally attract the viewer's attention and can bias your results. 5 second tests will help you gauge the participants' responses to your design. It allows you to understand how people think and feel about your design and use this knowledge to create the best possible experience for your target audience. If you like this video, please subscribe and click on this bell icon so you'll never miss a new video. Thank you!